there are some features of the nervous system that make it, that kind of lend themselves to um, studying cancer. One is that um, despite a great amount of diversity in cell type, there's lots of different kinds of cells, uh, any individual cell can respond to posi positional cues and kind of make its way to the right place within the nervous system. And second is that once it makes it there, it can make sort of the right connections to other neurons around it. So it can segregate between the ones it's supposed to make and the ones it doesn't have to. And so um, what people have shown is that in cancers of the nervous system, these features are lost. So as a cell um, becomes tumor tumorigenic, for example, and starts to proliferate, it starts to ignore those positional cues and kind of grow out of the tissue. In the last couple of months, I've actually gotten some uh, promising results that I'm kind of excited about. Um, so it looks like there may be two genes that, uh, that are cell adhesion molecules that may be important in uh, sort of making that circuit. And those genes are also expressed elsewhere in the brain, so they may have sort of broader functions. None of this is possible without uh, people's support and people's donations and um, their willingness to fund basic science even when it's even when the ideas are somewhat removed uh, directly from science but you know that down the line it may have an impact and so for us basic scientists it's it's a huge deal